Alrighty, folks, this is an update. I've got the ultimate hack for the Daiwa Soku uh, Knot Tool. Alright, the ultimate hack. You know, it's not really a hack, it's just a, another way of doing it. But since we're on this subject, and we're all interested in this, everybody was more interested in the tool than the hack. And I was using the little hemostats last time. Just to grab the line on the Daiwa Soku tool, okay, I'm going to, I am going to attempt it, I've done it three times, with this new tool, it's called, uh, I don't know what it's called, I saw this in Walmart, it's for crocheting or doing something, it's got a little lever right here that closes. See that? And it opens. And it's got a crook. And it's got a nice little handle. Okay. So let's see. I got my piece of monofilament here. Actually, screw that. Let me get a longer piece. Let me get a real long piece. Okay, so this is 20 pound mono to 20 pound braid. Actually, this right here is a cast king. So here we go. You take, you take both, you lay them on to each other. I always put the mono on, so it's the length of mono is over here on my right hand. Okay, pretty soon we'll all be experts at this, folks. Okay, there you go. You link side by side. Make a loop. Make sure the loops are even. Okay, kind of tighten them up. Pinch them with your finger. I take these other pieces, the tag end here of the braid. I take the length of mono that's going to be my mono leader. All right, place that that way, and I pinch it between these two fingers right here. I grab the tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the little hasp here, and I'm going to put it up here on this crook on the tool, and I'm going to go one two, three, four. All right. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab that. Guess what happens? As I pull, look what's happening. It's shutting the door on the little hasp. I turn the hasp sideways and the whole thing pulls through just absolutely magical. There you go. Pull her tight. Wet it. Bam. Pull it with your teeth. And you got yourself a Soku knot, buddy. Woohoo! All for, I think this thing was three bucks at Wally's World in the crochet department. It says something here, but it's kind of screwed up. Boy. B-O-Y-E. Is the name brand of it, I guess. And this this isn't really going to be one of those out on the boat kind, I don't think. I, I'm going to keep the Soku tool, you know, on my boat. But I need something in here. For when I'm rigging up in the, in the uh, wolf den. You know, and I even found another super application for this. Super application that I might share with you. So there you go. Tighten everything up. Now there's what the tag ends loose, folks. That's what the tag ends loose. And my dad used to always have a saying... When we didn't have a torque wrench and we we're working on an engine or something, he said, and I don't know how true this is, you know, it's one of them old mechanics things. Maybe a mechanic out there could tell us. 
that on a wrench, a regular old box end wrench, that a normal person can push down and do 35 pounds of uh, torque on a bolt. So, with braid in one hand and mono in the other, and hands that I don't call my I don't call my hands uh, little fairy hands because they're pretty beat up, calloused up, and and rough. But I could take this and I can pull this thing until I'm gonna cut my fingers off, and that will not break. So that Soku knot, whatever it is, whatever. I've had everybody say, oh, it's nothing but a damn uni knot. Oh, it's nothing but a blood knot. It's nothing but a this knot. I don't know what kind of knot it is. I'm just pulling the braid tight. I don't know what kind of knot it is, but all I know is it's a knot that works. Really, is there anything that matters? Let's do this one more time for you, okay? We're going to call this the crochet department needle thingy whatever hack of the Soku. Because my goal is to figure this thing out. Okay, because that original Soku tool cost me damn near, I think, like 30 bucks. You know, by the time it was done or something because I'm, you know, I'm Captain Gadget. I love me a good gadget. Okay, I'm going to take both, and I'm going to lay them next to each other, a good length of it. All right. I'm even going to make a little tiny one here, sort of. I'm going to go with a little little loop, because I'm sort of running out of mono over here. No, I'm not. i got tons of mono. Okay, let's go to a bigger loop. <laughs> All right. So, oh, do we love Dave yet? Do we love the Gadget Monster? Oh, I love this already. I love just shit that works. How about y'all? Okay, I'm going to take this in. I'm going to put it on that crook. I'm going to, it slides on the crook. Now, you could stick your finger down and kind of hold it. One, two, three. Go in. Boom, it's closing the hasp, and it's pulling it all through. And then there you go. You got yourself the, one of the finest light line leader braid to mono connections there is. Alright. So let's laugh in the face of Daiwa. Trying to sell us a $30 tool. I just hacked them, baby. I just hacked them. Yeah. And don't you all be stealing my babies. <laughs> no. That's what George Costanza said to Jerry Seinfeld one time when Jerry said something about, Oh, you, you give it to me, baby. He said, what are you doing? Stealing my babies? All right. So there we go. Man, please, is that tough. Now, I've had this break. You know where I've had this break? Right here. Right there. I've had it break. I hope I'm keeping this. I'm using my Mobius camera. It doesn't have the widest angle lens in the world. Okay. And I'm doing this with the camera hanging off of a fluorescent light. Okay, there we go. We trim it. Three dollars, folks. I almost wasn't gonna get this tool, but it, it kept just talking to me in Walmart, saying, "I can work, Dave." Now, I left a little tag in there on that. No big deal. Good God, I'm gonna like rip my hand, my fingers off. Look how many times I had it wrapped up on my fingers. All right, so there you go. The Daiwa Soku Tool Knot Tying Tool Hack, baby. It's a hack. Made in China.
I can read read that, but I can hardly read what this says here. I think it's B O Y E. And I don't know what I did with the package. It was in a like a little cardboard thingy. I think I threw it away already. So go to Walmart, folks. Remind yourself when you're in there at the old super Walmart to go over to that arts and crafty department. And they have a huge section of nothing but crochet needles and things like that. And there should be one of these there, if not something very similar to it. I would think that pretty much every Wally's world on the face of the planet is about the same. You break this thing or something, you go back to Wally's world and you get another one. Keep this on your boat, keep it on your your tackle room workbench. Keep it in your own wolf den. So there we go. Boy, oh boy. It works almost better than the real thing. Or it works as equal to the actual So Cool tool itself. Badass, huh? Alrighty, folks. Okay, Eddie. You say I keep making you buy tackle. Well, this ain't tackle. This is some crochet stuff or something, okay? So, <laughs> go hit your Walmart, brother. Go hit your Walmart. Thanks for watching, folks.